Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. This will be the last video um, in this series. So it's not, I know it's been a while, but it's pretty much over now, guys. So what we're going to do first is we just want to check everything we've found. We want to check that the, the um, equilibrium makes sense. We want to check that the sum of the compression is equal to the sum of the tension. We want to see that our process is being correct. So we want to check that the sum of the compression is equal to the sum of the tension. So we're going to do the compression plus the compression first, so that's going to be the compression in the concrete plus the compression in the steel. So those are the values we found. We get 287. We're going to add the two t tensile forces, that value plus that value, we get 287. So you can see that what we've done makes sense. We're getting back to pure bending. The, the, um, the thing for cl the, uh, the clause for, t for pure bending or like the, the um, property for pure bending rather is that the Compression equals the tension. So the sum of the compression equals the sum of the tension. 287 equals 287. So what we've done is most probably correct. Okay, there it is. Now what we're going to do is actually find the moment caused by the bending. So here's a summary of what we have. We have compression steel 1, tensile steel 2, tensile steel 3. Now they obviously have these values which we've found. So if I can show you that. Compression steel 1, 102.8, 102.8, tensile steel 2, 83.5, 83.5, tensile steel 3, 203.6, 203.6. Now they just act at their steel layers. So that layer is at 15, that's at 100, and that's at 185. So that's 15, 100, 185. The only really complicated one is the compression in the concrete, which we found to be 184.2, 184.2. Now that acts at a distance which is um, halfway at its rectangular stress blocks. We've seen this in the previous video lots of times. We've seen that the depth of the rectangular stress block is gamma dn and the force will act halfway from the middle of that. So halfway in the stress block. So it's just going to be gamma dn on 2. So that's just the distance there which we can find. We know that gamma is... 0 0.7